What's up, Smashers? This is Zeepo, and today we're going over Sheik's Short Hop Nair Out of Shield, or Schnoose for short. TAS combos. We are chilling. Let me opting for a couple more dash dances. Ooh, nice. Tire shields, we have Smash. Okay, Ooh. these bears out of shield. The Vito. Yeah. We see, you know, a lot of these early uh, F Smashers, we, uh, and we're all knotted up. Oh, but He's still good. here. But he doesn't. Nice stuff, though. Nice fair. Good stuff every time that peep jump there. He still has one more stock, though. Oh. Those not jumping off of it. But still in great position. Respecting Mewtwo King, but Mewtwo. The Out of shield options. So the first thing you want to learn before you learn short hop near out of shield or just near out of shield is all of Sheik's out of shield options. So the first one, this is the same with everybody, is getting your shield broken, which is not a good strategy. Don't let that happen. You're holding shield too long. That's never a good idea. Uh, the next two obvious ones are roll and spot dodge. Now next is jump out of shield. And uh, we'll go shield grab now. Shield grab is you just press A while you're shielding. If something somebody does something unsafe on your shield, great to punish it with a grab. Like in this matchup, that's kind of that's kind of the end of the game. Uh, but if somebody does something safe on your shield, like Fox or Falco doing a shuffle shine, or Captain Falcon knee uh, jab, or like Sheik uh, short hop or uh, slap jab, uh, those are all safe on shield. So you might not want to shield grab. Uh, but if somebody does something unsafe, then whip out the shield grab. So now jump out of shield. This is the money. You can jump and then do anything you want. You can short hop, you can full hop, you can use X, Y, C stick, or analog stick. And uh, and you can still short hop with analog stick and C stick, which is important. Uh, and then once you're in the air, you're, it's just like jumping off the ground without a shield. It's There's really no difference than going with a shield and going without a shield. So... So if you know all your aerial options, then you know pretty much everything you can do out of shield uh, while jumping. So you can do the you can do the short hop nair, you can do a fair, you can do back air, you can do up air, you can do down air. Did I miss any? I think that's all. Oh yeah, up smash out shield on accident. So you can also up smash out shield. Uh, not as fast as foxes, but good nonetheless. You can also charge it if you're just a super beast. Um, so that is Sheik's out of shield options. So now we'll go straight into the short hop near out of shield. So I've shown you the applications already uh, and why it's good, but let me show you some common mistakes with it. So first mistake is doing it too high. So right now I'm, I'm doing a near out of shield, but it is way too high and it's not hitting anybody. Uh, so that is the first mistake. So that means you're pressing A too late. You can also press Z to do your near. It does the same thing. If you jump in the air and press A, you get an air. If you jump in the air, and press Z, you get an air. Those are the only buttons that do it. So, the other mistake people do is pressing A too early, which gets you a grab. And this will be very frustrating when you're practicing, I promise, because you'll come up to your character, you're trying to do your air out of shield on. Oh, she's dead. So you come up to your character, you're trying to do your air out of shield on, and eventually you will mess up, and this will happen. And you'll be very frustrated because you'll have to wait until they fly away or you'll throw them or something, but that's just part of the learning process. Don't fret. You're gonna do, uh, and you'll get up smashes out of shield also. It's another way to mess up. So, plenty of ways to mess this up, but the thing is, if you're practicing this, don't just get discouraged. Say, I can't do it. Use that, that data that you just got from your own screw up. So I grabbed, I pressed A too early. Let me press it later. Or, I, my nair's not hitting anything, I'm way up here, I'm pressing A too late. So it's all about the timing with this. You know the inputs, you just have to get the timing right. It's uh, it's a lot like that in, in Street Fighter. If you do, uh, I don't know if anybody plays anybody play Street Fighter, but uh, Ryu can do like, he's like the most basic character. You can do like crouching, medium punch, crouching, medium punch. And if you do it too quickly, the second punch won't come out. And that's basically what's happening right here. Your nair's not gonna come out if you do it too quickly. You're just gonna get a shield grab. But if you do it too late, it won't combo. And so uh, what that basically means is if you do it too late, you're not going to hit anybody with your nair. You're just going to be way up here. And so, some, so a lot of times this full hop nair will work on uh, on Sheik in particular because Sheik is so tall. 
That is not the case against shorter characters. Like, if Sheik is crouching, if Sheik's crouching, you might just be, you might just be shit out of luck. Uh, against Jigglypuff, Pikachu, uh, Fox, if he's like crouching doing shine stuff, maybe even Falco. But against like Captain Falcon, Sheik, and Marth, you know, the, the, the taller humanoid characters, uh, you might get away with a full hop. If you do the full hop, a good, uh, a good like safe thing to do is if you hit their shield or something is come down with another nair and there's two mess ups i'm trying to do the full hop so you can see that i'm doing a nair and then i'm doing another nair right before i hit the ground it's kind of hard to see but if you can see how sheik's foot just kind of pops back out at the last second here i'll do it i'll do it this way and then land on her with a nair land on her with a nair land on her with a nair so you have you have ages to throw out another nair after you do a full hop nair if you're doing it if you're doing it fast, if you're doing it slow, if you're doing this really high nair, you're not gonna have time to get another nair out. I'm pressing A and I'm I'm not getting anything. Man, Sheik's OP. You <laughs> but that's uh that's a good kind of a safe thing to do. The other strategy, if you do a full hop nair and it doesn't work out, is just get the hell out of there. You know, just fade away. Maybe even land with a buffered roll. Not the safest thing to do, but um, if you do the full hop nair and they shield it, you're kind of in a bad spot. Cause if I shield a nair and I'm this chic then I can just jump up and punish your like nair lag up there with whatever I want to so that is nair out of shield so to test yourself to see if you're doing this correctly or not you need to be using Jigglypuff at least at some point try it with Jigglypuff use a taller character at first or you're just gonna get too frustrated but uh, if you do it too late you're gonna not hit Jigglypuff so if you land on Jigglypuff like that you're obviously doing it way too late um, and if you do it too early you're gonna get that grab so make sure that you do it fast on the way up like that important frame data for Sheik's short hop narrow to shield uh, I have these two links and I'm gonna put them in the description if you want to check it out yourself so let me drop some knowledge here Sheik's short hop and well no we'll just say Sheik's jump is airborne on frame 4 and what that means Airborne on frame four is that you have a basically Sheik has a three frame short hop. So on the fourth frame, Sheik is in the air. And then on the fourth frame, she can do things. Now, she doesn't have like a shine, so she can't actually do anything on frame four, but she can begin to do things. So, airborne on frame four, remember that. And then if we go up to Sheik's Nair here, we are on the Sheik boards, uh, their frame data thread here is Sheik's aerials and there it is there is the neutral aerial so there's some data down here and the one I'm concerned with is hit 3 to 20 that means when the red circles pop up right there so the very first frame that the red circles pop up is on the third frame so let's say I press a to nair for one frame nothing happens the second frame nothing happens but on the third frame which is lightning fast in 3 60ths of a second after I press the button or 2 60ths however you want to look at it the nair comes out so what that means is since she's airborne on frame 4 and it hits on frame 3 after you press the button, let's go over here to this link, this Super 20XX stuff, here is Sheik, and Sheik is shielding. So Sheik is going to do a short hop narrow to shield. Uh, you can't see it really, but I'm, I'm clicking and you can see that 1 highlights, nothing happens, 2, nothing happens, 3, nothing happens, 4, 5, but on frame 6, Sheik did her 3 frame short hop, She's airborne on frame four, and then this is hitting on frame three. So that math makes sense. It's like three plus three or some stuff. And uh, and this is the nair, basically. So you can see nair, frame six, three frame jump squat, uh, total of 48 frames, but hits three to 30. So that's the important part. So uh, so that means the nair is active on frame six. Now, short hop versus full hop, it's still going to be active on frame six, but the reason why this is important uh, to short hop is the short hop narrow to shield is going to hit lower than the full hop. You're going to be higher up with your full hop, so you're going to miss like Kirby and uh, Jigglypuff and some shorter characters. Fox, if he's doing something, maybe Marth is crouching, Sheik is crouching. So that's why we were practicing doing it the short hop way. So again, these links will be in the description, so check them out, guys. Really important stuff.